At NUS School of Medicine, we do a whole range of research, but the most important thing is we want all these research to have a positive impact on our patient. We all agree that behind every piece of great research is a great researcher. We have Professor Alfredo, whose uh, research is on regenerative medicine. I am Alfredo Franco Obregón. I am a biophysicist in training, uh, an exercise physiologist in philosophy, and an innovator by necessity. So what is the inspiration behind uh, this piece of research? Since my graduate work in the early 1990s, I was in pursuit of a way of activating muscle without using drugs, particularly in individuals that were not able to exercise. So I've actually searched for non-pharmaceutical ways of activating the effects of exercise, but without exercise. So what are the key findings that you found uh, in your research? It's really all about the cell secretome. The way cells communicate with each other, particularly in a developmental sense, is via the secretion of factors. These factors are released into the neighborhood of cells and it basically choreographs the cells into a certain developmental faith. The problem always has been is that when you look at these processes in vitro, in tissue culture, there's no efficient way of activating the cells. As a consequence, the cells have the capacity to secrete these factors, but they aren't being induced to. So now we've developed a technology that with a simple flip of a switch, you activate the secretome response of cells, they secrete these factors into their surrounding bathing media that can be collected very rapidly and then employed in regenerative medicine, uh, in vitro applications like general tissue culturing, or even in the cell-based meat industry, the cultivated meat industry. Because all these industries previously have depended on fetal bovine serum. This is the blood that was taken from a fetus at the time of the slaughter of the mother. It's a very cruel, wasteful, it's not very eco-friendly. So now what we have is a way of actually having cells produce the factors that they need for themselves without the sacrifice of an animal. So why is this research important? At the level of regenerative medicine, when people are using stem cells, they often use stem cells as a source for the secretome. And the stem cells themselves don't really contribute to the healing, it's what they're leaving behind. The problem with that is that sometimes when you implant stem cells, they may not be at their best state in the new environment they've been placed into. And as a consequence, the secretome that they produce may not give the effect that is desired. On the other hand, if you're able to actually keep stem cells in a laboratory setting, make sure they're happy and taken care of, collect the secretome in the environment of the laboratory, and then apply it to the injury, you have much greater chances of getting a positive effect.